very great pleasure to introduce Saul Kripke, the man of the hour, <laughs> who is going to be talking to us on our first plus.
One should not think of the task of the linguist or of the semanticist <coughs> as, for example, coin those in, um, in uh, some of his writings as uh, primarily that of translating into one's own language. For one thing, of course, that presupposes the semantics of one's own language and gets very little. But as a description from above, right, of the uses in the community. And it has to be done in a detached way, matching what uh, Coyne and Russell and some philosophers have called scientific language. Uh, language itself will contain neither lexicals nor tense, but the eternal age stated. Um, and of course, it may contain some other uh, references to what, to a, which possible world rather than a true and actual world, right? So on, right? But um, uh, it must be done cooler. For example, As uh, Kaplan says, one must be able to uh, describe words expressing anger without getting anger at the same time. Right? Uh, 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 this has reference to, this is really relevant to what uh, other writers have written on another subject. I, I uh, wrote a user paper which never appeared, though actually someone did recommend it. In case you certainly need something working. Um, uh, um, uh, as opposed at one extreme, the type of view of, say, Peter Hempel, that takes his historical writing to be little different in principle from writing in physics. Sorry. Um, and involving laws and reputation and so on. Right? The other extreme says that uh, history employs a particular method of first data, which I think certainly has something to it, and of trying to think the way the characters themselves think. But in a strong formulation, I think this was a compelling with I haven't looked up on a paper, which is really buried in some files to which I don't have access. I think it's still is around. Um, uh, it said that, um, for example, if you write about if you write about any historical character, you should try literally to become that character. I don't mean I suppose mean getting in all the psychological state of the character, and I remarked uh, without any anticipation there um, that uh, well. If you write about Hitler, don't try to become Hitler. <laughs> this would be a very dangerous <laughs> idea. Have any of, uh, some of you have probably heard of uh, the writer David Irvin. He originally started with very respectable publishers. Probably not many of you He has, at any rate, something that will fulfill me <laughs> this fear. Well, so he gives an example. What does the first person have to 
example, Webster Web III provides the one who is speaking and writing, and they quote the sign, the sign, I shall not want, in order to drive the point home. Um, this caused me to imagine sitting in the back of the auditorium in a lottery award ceremony and whispering to Solomon, which of the people here won the ten million dollars, and he whispers back the one who is speaking, or equivalently, and of course, Reverend Two's third, I did, I shall not want. Uh, two or three comments here. Um, uh, two, or, two or three comments here, but um, one is. Um, one is, uh, uh, one is, um, uh, the psalmist did not ever say, I shall not want, since he did not, contrary to what most Americans, it's like they'll seem to think, right, in 1611, um, uh, and in, I, I have to see in your time. Something like the Bible says, or the Old Testament says, as opposed to the more recent Bible, right? <laughs> this was in your time, but I think uh, Christian fundamentalists, uh, I remember hearing that, I don't know if you remember this, I heard you said, um, until, or rather, till, as Scripture says, According to the King Catholic's prophecy. Now, the psalmist, in fact, didn't use the word I at all. Um, as in many languages, um, I might be used only for emphasis and um, is, uh, in various senses, is simply a prefix or a suffix to the verb. And that is the case in the Hebrew word text which the psalmist must have at least consulted. Um, uh, I, I talked about, it. yeah, okay. Now, and so far this evening, <laughs> so far this evening, supports Kaplan, because his point is, you should not look about the meaning of I. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you can put the Hebrew word I as if you're not here. At least, uh, it was to be imperfect if it's here. See, so, um, uh, um, uh, so far this will even support uh, Kaplan because Kaplan plays it for what is this. The search, as in Frazier, for what the word I means, or the sense of I, is obviously a mistake because it is wholly given by the scientifically that is neutrally expressed friend. Um, when someone says I, dot, when anyone says I, when anyone else says I, dot, 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 right, <coughs> what he says is true, or true of the possible world in which he's living at the time, if that's relevant, um, uh, if and only if. Yes, but 